Assalamualaikum and greetings. Control will be tightened at VIP lanes in airports nationwide to prevent VIPs and politicians from abusing their privilege and smuggling items into the country. Transport Minister Anthony Locke said his ministry is aware that there is weakness in the present system and there are no customs or immigration personnel at the VIP lanes. Due to that, he added his ministry will tighten control at the VIP lanes and place personnel to conduct checks. The Sarau government is now facing the challenge to elevate Kuching City to the next level of development. Chief Minister Dr. Pating Yaman Zohari Tarabahajoping said Sarawak are now coming to the limits of city development as presented by existing infrastructure of Kuching City. The challenge for the present government is to elevate Kuching City to the next level of development. We are now coming to the limits of city development as presented by existing infrastructure of Kuching City with the doubling of its population and growth of its economy. A good public transport system will allow efficient connectivity of integrated whole townships. He added the existing public transport system consisting of buses, taxis and private cars is beginning to create regular traffic jams at a particular junctions and times. Thus, for the future growth of Kuching City, he said, the government will restructure the public transport system not only to solve existing traffic problems, but also to prepare the basic infrastructure of the city for significant growth in the coming years with a doubling of its population and growth of its economy. A total of 1,627 Macau scam cases involving losses of 98.3 million ringgit was recorded by the Royal Malaysia Police PDRM in the first nine months of this year. Commercial Crime Investigation Department Deputy Director SAC Dato Ahmad Nordin Ismail said the number has increased compared to the corresponding period last year which recorded 862 cases with losses of 25.8 million ringgit. Meanwhile, Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission Network Security and Enforcement Chief Officer Zulkarnay Mohamad Yassin said, in addition to phone calls, the Macau Scam Syndicate also operated through smartphone applications such as WeChat, offering a variety of lucrative deals through online shopping. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvsr.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Iqbal Yusof. Thanks for watching.